Hi guys, so the Tory MP who defected to Labour was interviewed by the BBC where he gave his reasons. Dan Poulter will now join the Labour benches and vote with them, which of course is an embarrassment for Rishi Sunak right before the elections and reduces his majority to about 40, which could become a problem later on. However, back to Dan. As he said in this interview, he couldn't look his colleagues in the eye when his party was pushing through cuts to the NHS, a service he truly believes in as a doctor. I had asked before why someone would join a party or remain in one if they had such problems with it, and perhaps I found the answer. I found it increasingly difficult to look my NHS colleagues in the eye, my patients in the eye, and, and my constituents in the eye with good conscience. Um, and I feel that the NHS deserves better than it has at the moment in terms of how it's run and governed. The party I was elected into valued public services. It valued, it had a compassionate view about supporting the more disadvantaged in society. Um, I think the Conservative Party today is in a very different place. It, its focus is not on delivering um, or supporting high quality public services. Okay, I'm not sure which party he's talking about at the beginning, but as I said on a number of occasions, don't listen to what politicians say, look at how they vote. And if we look at his voting record, well, let's start off first with health. Well, you would imagine he would vote as a doctor, and that's pretty consistent with that. So consistently voted for higher taxes specifically to fund health and social care. Once again, he's a doctor. You would imagine a doctor would vote to increase funding for the NHS and social care, understanding the problems it faces, both of them. Consistently voted for smoking bans. Yes, once again, you would imagine a doctor would support a ban or some sort of policy to reduce people's uh, smoking habits. And generally, he voted as you would imagine a doctor would vote. But it seems when it comes to other issues, for example, welfare benefits and pensions, consistently voted for increasing the state pens pension age, almost always voted uh, against paying higher benefits over longer periods for those unable to work due to illness or disability, almost always voted for a reduction in spending on welfare benefits. So you can see if we go to other areas, home affairs, uh, consistently voted for mass surveillance of people's communication activities, uh, almost always voted for a stricter asylum system. So when it came to health, he voted as a doctor, it seems. But when it came to being a regular Tory, then he voted as a regular Tory. Now, of course, he's no longer a Tory. He's going to become a member of Parliament for the Labour Party. So they can probably be safe taking him on board because they know he's going to vote as the party dictates. So I don't know, once again, if Dan had voted for these policies because he believed in them or he was just voting on these policies because that's what the party asked him to do. The, the whip or the chief whip said, you have to vote for this policy. And he went, OK, I'll do that. But when it came to the NHS or when it came to health care or health in general, he was probably given a bit of a free vote. But as he said in his interview, well, there was a limit to that or he couldn't face colleagues, he couldn't look them in the eye, he couldn't look his constituents or patients in the eye and, and explain to them, look, we're cutting public services or we're reducing staff in the NHS for X, Y and Z reason. He ran out of reasons or there was an internal conflict he had. So he, he was okay voting for policies such as the bedroom tax or reducing benefits to people. That was fine. <laughs> but when it came to health, he said, no, no, there are limits. As I said, he'll probably be uh, a pretty reliable voter for the Labour Party because he'll vote as they tell him to. But um, it will be short-lived because he's planning to stand down at the next election. But it will be interesting to see how he votes. Probably he will do as he's told. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.